Oh. Hello, I'm LZ Alexander and this is Skid Row Live. I'm here to present some comedy material to you and with the assistance of our audience, they're going to play pick a joke, okay? There's a list of jokes there, they're gonna pick them. Let me demonstrate. The first one is called Crime and Punishment. Did you ever notice that if you get in trouble and they lock you up, the place they lock you up is always named after whatever you did? I say the place they lock you up is always named after whatever you did. For instance, if they catch you forging checks, you go to the pen. But if they catch you trafficking marijuana, they send you to the joint. If they catch you trafficking crack cocaine, you do your time on the rock. If you kick down somebody's door, you go to the slammer. But if you steal a boat, they send you up the river. Get this up? If you steal 24 cans of beer, you go catch a case, dog. But if you steal a Rolex, they're going to give your ass some time. You get convicted of prostitution, they put you in a cell because you're trying to sell, you know. You get convicted of rape, and they stick you in the pokey. However, however, if you get charged with a sex crime, you just might get off. That's called crime and punishment. Okay, for this next piece, I need a volunteer. And I volunteer you. Come with me, please. Let's hear it for our volunteer. We'll find out who she is when she gets here. How you doing? Your name is? Melissa. Melissa? Melissa, would you have a seat right here? Gentlemen, this is how you win the heart of the lady you love the object of your desire. It's called, You're the Icing on My Cake. The only way to really remember it is to buy my poetry book. It's called Performance Poetry and I Wrote It. This piece is called, You're the Icing on My Cake. Eating is my favorite thing to do in all the world. I spent more time eating than I did with all my girls. Now when I met you, Melissa, I was eating a piece of pie. I had to put it down because this is a girl you caught my eye. I had to do a double take, but could this be a dream? And ever since that day, you've been the coffee of my cream. You're the cream inside my Twinkie. The coffee of my cake. The cheese of my macaroni. You're the milk of my shake. You're the dill of my pickle. Help, you're the fat of my back. And if I lose you, Melissa, then my train is off the track. See, you're the bone of my drumstick. The whip of my cream. The brown part of my brownie. You're the girl of my dreams. You're the super in my duper. Help, you're the corn in my flake. You're the pork in my chop, girl. You're the icing on my cake. Now, I'll never have another love as long as you'll be mine. And we should be together until the end of time. I don't know where you came from. You must be having set. But since I met you, Melissa, you're the present of my death. I can never hope to find another girl like you. You're the only thing I'm living for. The sham of my poo. If this is a dream, my love, don't ever wake me up. You're the sweetening in my sugar. You're the loving in my cup. That's called you're the icing on my cake. It never misses. It never misses. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I want to ask you something. I'll tell you this. My grandmother was on a fixed income. So in order for her to save money, she started eating cat food. I went to her house for a visit once. She said, honey, would you like to stay for dinner? I said, I'd love to stay dinner, Grandma, but I'm kind of in a hurry. When is dinner? She looked at her watch and said, meow. Thank you. Um, have you ever heard of the cost of living? People talk about the cost of living. Well, they don't just say it because it sounds cool. And I have an itemized list of what the cost of living is. And see if you agree. <coughs> it's called, you got to pay this to pay that. For those of us who find it hard to pay the monthly rent, we find that after paying bills, we haven't got a cent. Now, let's say you bought a house, a swinging bachelor pad. Keep it up in that mortgage, took every dime you had. If you, if you want running water in this gorgeous home, pay the water people, but don't forget your loan. Now, when you buy your furniture, you only want what's good. But if you bought the very best, you couldn't buy no food. You haven't got any money left to place a friendly bet. You know you have to pay the rent on your TV set. You go out in the evening to a classy bar. The trip will go much smoother if you have a car. You think you found the perfect girl, you don't know if she'll cuss? Suggest she come to your place by riding on the bus. You'd like for her to call you up after you get home, but if she's gonna call you, you have to have a phone. 
Something goes wrong with your car. It hurts you to your heart. You can't pay the heavy fix until you buy the parts. You take your car to the shop, there's a leak on your floor. You find they charge a hundred bucks to open up the door. You pay insurance on your car, a very heavy task. Now you need some money so you can buy some gas. These bills wouldn't be so bad if you only paid them once. You gotta pay these motherfuckers each and every month. Don't be late with a payment, not even a single day. Because the later that you are, the more you have to pay. As if it isn't bad enough that payments are so large, you find you need more money to pay a damn late charge. As you look back in the past and see what bills you paid, you know that it's impossible to have some money saved. But now, just say you saved a buck or two for a rainy day. The clouds are sure to open up and wash it all away. You got it for convenience. You found it made life hard. If you're smart, you know I'm speaking of a credit card. You find that after you have all the lenders let you get, you see that you're not only broke, but somehow you're in debt. I'd like to ask a question. I know you think it's dumb. We see where the money's going, but where the hell is it coming from? After you pay all your bills, you can't buy a hat. But don't forget you got to pay for this to pay for that. That's called you got to pay this to pay that. Yeah, I know, I know. <clears throat> My wife was a nymphomaniac. Sex all the time. That's all she ever wanted to do. My problem was waiting my turn. So I said it was waiting my turn. <clears throat> Anybody know a good lawyer? I need a, a civil lawyer. I'm going to file a civil lawsuit against Kentucky Fried Chicken. No, I went there and ordered an all white meat dinner. When I got it back to my table and opened it up, the breast they gave me didn't even have a nipple on it. And that's a defective product. You know, I fell asleep in front of the television the other night, watching Nickelodeon. And uh, when I woke up, there was no rerun of Lassie. And I didn't realize it until that moment, but did you know that Ren Tin Tin was a guest star on Lassie? At least for one episode. I don't even know how it started. When I woke up, Ren Tin Tin was telling Lassie, hold still, bitch. Timmy's coming. This will be great later. I've got the song that Louis Armstrong, I, I, I thought Louis Armstrong was dead. If I'm, did you think Louis Armstrong was dead? Me too. But I heard a new song he's got. It sounds like one of his old songs. It goes like this. I see guys in the hood, out in the cold, cars getting jacked, shit getting stole, and I think to myself, what a dangerous world. I see girls in the street, flat on their backs, telling sweet lies, screwing for crack, and I think to myself, what a desperate girl. The legs of the hookers, so pretty passing by. Piss off the pimp and heel, pop them in the eye. Taking cash, making threats, saying, bitch, I'll kill you. What they're really saying is, pay me too. I see babies cry, I watch them grow. They'll never know, mama was a hoe. And I think to myself, what a dangerous world. I think to myself, ooh, what a desperate world. Oh, so, 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 oh, yeah. That's called What a Dangerous World. Have you heard uh, the new song, the Barney song? You remember Barney the Purple Dinosaur? Yeah, I saw the original version of his song. It goes like this. I love you, you love me. We got airtime on TV with a corporate sponsor. We've been on a while. I'm a purple pedophile. All right, thank you. Elsie Alexander.